Hey and welcome back. My wife has lived most of her life in the island chain of Hawaii. Now Hawaii is the world's biggest volcanic island chain. Over five islands going from the youngest and most active, which is called the Big Island or Hawaii, all the way up getting older and older and older. But on the island of Hawaii, there are still active volcanoes. And somebody found something in the volcano truly shocking. A fountain of lava more than 100 feet high, telephone poles lighting up like matchsticks, and this time-lapse video shows a house being consumed by molten rock. These are the haunting images of Kilauea unleashing its fury. Just last month, a local photographer walking on the shield volcano Mauna Loa found two unexploded bombs encased in the lava. Why were they there? It's a fascinating story. Back in 1935, there was an eruption on Mauna Loa and the lava was heading towards the island's biggest city, Hilo. In an attempt to stop it, the local volcanologists called the Army Air Force and they decided to bomb the lava flow. Thomas Jaeger, the head of the Volcanology Observation Station on Hawaii, decided that bombing it might work. So on December the 27th, B-3 and B-4 biplane bombers, probably based in Pearl Harbor area, came over and bombed the lava flow that was getting dangerously close to Hilo. Mauna Loa is not a cinder cone volcano, it's a shield type where the lava comes out and runs over the surface or in lava tubes. Back in 1935, it was advancing towards the city at one mile a day, and it was potentially very hazardous. So in this amazing picture, bombs were dropped on the molten lava. The idea was to divert it by imploding these lava channels and making it go a different way and not hitting the town. But there's something about lava that we kind of get wrong. We see lava as liquid on the surface, but in fact it goes down really deep. So just altering the surface flow doesn't really change what's coming up from inside the earth. And it totally failed. By luck or coincidence, the lava flow did actually stop or divert and Hilo in 1935 was not destroyed. But bombing a volcano has been tried again. The army waited until the 1970s when bombs got bigger and I guess they wanted to try the new technology on stopping the lava flow. So they bombed little vents and it kind of worked. The individual vents were blown up, but I mean, it didn't stop the volcano, but it has been tried elsewhere in the world. Italy has Mount Etna, one of the world's constant active volcanoes and in the 1990s local Italian engineers fitted over eight tons of explosives to divert a lava flow from a village and it did work. They managed to carve a big enough hole to fill it with the lava and then it flowed somewhere else but it's not a recommended technique. The idea does in fact go back many hundreds of years and the city of Hilo back in Hawaii used to have a gunpowder store just in case they needed to blow up something to stop the lava. It was never used. But more recently, Governor Ariyoshi decided that he would try it again. This is in the 1980s. Bombs were never dropped, but the governor kept the plan on the table in case things got really bad. There are two other associated problems with diverting lava. One, on Hawaii, the lava fields are sacred and should not be bombed. And two, you don't really know where the lava's going to go instead after you divert it. 
it might in fact decide to go somewhere worse. Lava does not respect man-made barriers. Stone or steel just melts. And remember, it's down there in the earth. And as one volcanologist said very aptly, lava's not a force that humans can mess with. The truth is out there.